Take a look at this picture of Mars. That light on the right side of the photo is creating quite a stir online, with some speculating the possibility of life. They claim to have seen a large uh, winged creature. For many years, photography has been used to capture a moment in time. History has witnessed many mysteries recorded through photos. Some of these mysterious discoveries have blew the minds of scientists and the world. From ghosts and illusions to extraterrestrial lights, join us as we take a look at 20 real photos that scientists still cannot explain. Number 20. Pyramid on the Moon on the moon, there's a pyramid some people think was made by the same beings who built Egypt's famous pyramids. When alien hunters found a pyramid-shaped thing in a big hole on the moon, they got super excited. This structure looks like it has three sides and was made by people. So, the big question is, does this prove that aliens from the moon made Egypt's pyramids? Is there a pyramid on the moon? Well, it's a mystery that's got people talking, but who knows for sure. Well, some people think that anything can happen. They imagine aliens could live on the moon, which is why NASA has yet to go back since the 1970s when they did the Apollo missions. These folks think this pyramid and other strange things on the moon were put there by ancient aliens, just like Earth's pyramids and stuff. But there are doubters. They say this pyramid and other similar discoveries are just brain-playing tricks. Number 19. Photo of Time Traveler A picture taken almost 100 years ago has something super strange that's got people talking. It's a snapshot of a picnic in Canada back in 1917. Everyone in the photo looks like they're from way back then, wearing long skirts and fancy hats, except for one guy. He sticks out like a sore thumb because he's dressed like he's from our time, wearing a big t-shirt, shorts, and messy hair. Some folks even call him the Surfer Man. People in the picture seem surprised by him, with one guy looking shocked and a lady pointing right at him. Now, some people say that t-shirts were actually around back then, and they became popular not long after this photo was taken. They even ended up in the dictionary in the 1920s. Maybe this guy isn't a time traveler after all. But seriously. Who besides those guys Bill and Ted would think that wearing a t-shirt and shorts is the coolest outfit for traveling back in time? Number 18. Cinema Audience In 1932, James Jarrett took a picture called Cinema Audience for the Daily Herald. He used a special method called Ilford Infrared to capture a group of people, watching a movie called The Sign of the Cross at London's Carlton Theatre. The theatre was dark but there were six hidden lamps on the balcony, giving it special light. The story of infrared photography goes back to 1910, when an American scientist named Robert Williams Wood started it. He took pictures using a special technique that showed things we couldn't see with our eyes, only with special tools. Imagine going to a busy movie theater in 1932. The light from the movie screen makes shadows on people's faces. James Jarrett, takes a picture of this moment using new infrared technology, showing the excitement in the theater. The photo cinema audience from the Daily Herald shows how exciting movies were back then. People lean forward in their seats, caught up in the movie, and Jarrett captures this feeling forever. The special Ilford infrared method makes the picture look magical. The London Carlton Theater is where all this happens. People come together to watch movies and don't realize Jarrett's picture will be remembered for a long time because of his special way of taking photos. Infrared photography is amazing. It shows us things we can't normally see. The six hidden lamps make everything look strange and beautiful. Number 17. Satellites belonging to an extraterrestrial civilization. For more than 100 years, some folks have believed in a strange thing in space called the Black Knight Satellite, they assume it might be a spaceship from aliens. They say they've seen proof of it flying around Earth. But the evidence they show is a bit scattered, so it's hard to understand why they think it's true. Still, it's a story that keeps coming up, with people talking about possible secrets by NASA and the government. A lot of the early talk about the Black Knight satellite was about radio waves. But in 1998, 
During the first space shuttle trip to the International Space Station, NASA took some pictures that got people talking. These photos showed a black object hanging out above the Earth in a low orbit. When these pictures became public, it didn't take long for people to start thinking and sharing their ideas with others. The excitement about the Black Knight satellite theory grew as more people looked into the details. Some said they figured out strange signals from space that they thought were linked to the satellite. Others talked about old stories that seemed to describe similar things in the sky. As the argument continued, conspiracy theories began to emerge. People whispered about secret missions to look into the Black Knight. Some even said that NASA knew more than they were saying and was hiding the truth from the public. But despite all the talk and theories, solid proof of the Black Knight satellite remained hard to find. Scientists and doubters kept asking for real evidence before they would believe in such a mysterious thing in space. Number 16. The Lights Over Norway Lights in the sky aren't rare, but what about lights that keep coming back? That's what a photo taken in the Hesterland Valley in Norway shows. People living there have talked about seeing a strange light for a long time, going back to at least the 1940s, maybe even earlier. It's a kind of bright or yellow light that nobody knows where it comes from. Sometimes it looks like it's not moving, other times it seems to float above the ground. Between 1981 and 1984, these lights were seen a lot, like up to 20 times a week. But now, they don't show up as often. Nowadays, they only appear between 10 to 20 times a year. Even though scientists have been trying to figure it out and have come up with lots of ideas, they still don't have a good explanation for it. Despite ongoing efforts to understand these mysterious lights, researchers have not been able to figure out the reason behind their recurring appearances. Some experts have suggested theories like maybe it's caused by gases or reflections, but none of these explanations have satisfied everyone. Imagine living in a place where you look up and see these strange lights so often. It must have been quite a sight back in the 1980s when they were showing up almost every night. But now it's become more of a rare occurrence, like catching a glimpse of something truly extraordinary. Maybe someday, someone will find the answer to this puzzle. Until then, the mystery of the lights in the Hesterlin Valley continues to intrigue and confuse those who witness them. Number 15. Stanley Hotel Ghost. The Stanley Hotel, a 108-year-old landmark in Estes Park, Colorado, is famous for its frightening happenings. It offers visitors a tour to explore its supernatural side. While the tour doesn't promise ghostly encounters, the Mosling family from Aurora, Colorado, might have experienced one without even realizing it. During the tour, John Mosling and his wife, Jessica Martinez Mosling, took some photos excited about the chance to capture the hotel's chilling atmosphere. When they looked through their pictures later, they were surprised to see what looked like a young girl near the staircase in one of the images. Even though the tour was supposed to be suitable for families, the Moslings were confused because they couldn't remember seeing any young girls on the tour which had 11 people in total. They asked their kids, their kids' friends, and their friends, but no one recalled seeing a little girl. The Moslings themselves couldn't remember seeing her when they took the photo. Ben Hansen, a former FBI agent and host of Fact or Faked Paranormal Files, examined the photo and thought it didn't seem fake. He appreciated it as one of the best potential supernatural evidence he had seen, as long as it had not been altered. He said that if it were fake, it would usually be clear but this one seemed real. The Mosling's discovery of the uninvited ghost hinted at the possibility of another ghost in the photo. Although it might look like just a blurry figure at first, the Moslings were sure there were only two people on the staircase when the photo was taken. Number 14. Naga Fireballs The Naga Fireballs are like glowing balls that shoot up from the Mong River in Thailand when the full moon marks the end of the Buddhist month. It has been happening for a long time, and it's quite a show. Some people think it is like a giant snake shooting fireballs into the sky. People who've seen it say the fireballs go up and then disappear. This whole thing called the Naga Fireball has been drawing crowds for more than a hundred years. It all goes down along a 250-kilometer stretch near Laos and Thailand. 
nobody has figured out what causes it. Some years back, lots of fireballs shot up in one night, like hundreds of them. Other times, you might only see a dozen or so over a few nights. Legend has it that these fireballs come from the Naga, this mythical snake in Laos stories. But not everyone buys into that. Some say it is just gas from the riverbed or glowing creatures flying up. Even though this light show has been going on for ages, it wasn't until the early 1990s that people started gathering along the river to see it. And now, it's turned into a big party. People come to eat, drink, dance, and hang out. Some even set off fireworks, making the crowd cheer and drawing more people to come and watch the fun. Number 13. McMinnville UFO In the evening, at about 7.45, Evelyn Trent called out to her husband while she was taking care of their rabbits in the farmyard in Dayton. She said she saw something that looked like a parachute without strings. It just burst up like that and sloped. Excitedly, she ran into the house to get her husband and their camera. They quickly went back to the yard where Paul Trent also saw the object. He described it as a shiny, round thing in the sky without wings, floating. Paul, a 43-year-old farmer, managed to take two photos before the object disappeared into the evening fog. These photos were taken in June 1950, a month after Paul took them. They became famous and were published in the local newspaper and Life magazine. The U.S. Air Force even sent an investigator to their farm. Paul described the object as coming towards them and slightly up. He said it was very bright, almost like silver, and there was no sound. The investigator had heard many stories like this before, but most were easily explained, unlike the Trent photos. In 1967, the Air Force asked a scientist named Edward Yonden to study UFOs. He wrote a big report that dismissed many sightings, but he couldn't explain the Trent photos. The report said the photos were real and credible. It said the object in the photos was like a metallic disc tens of meters wide, but not natural. It flew in front of two reliable witnesses. Number 12. Fairy Circle Fairy circles are mysterious circular patches of barren land found in the dry grasslands of places like southern Africa and Australia. These circles, ranging from 7 to 49 feet in diameter, have confused scientists for years. Despite all the research done, we still don't know for sure what causes these fairy circles. There are many theories, but none of them have been proven. Some think a particular type of termite might be responsible, while others believe it's because of competition among plants for resources. This mystery has baffled scientists because it's not just a simple problem to resolve. After all, the circles vary in different regions. In Australia, they form on sandy soil, while in Namibia they form on clay soil. Scientists have ruled out some ideas, like termites or radioactive soil, but others still think they could play a role. Some suggest that toxins from certain plants might be involved in making the circles barren. In 2012, termite casts were found in all fairy circles, and radar showed there was moist soil underneath them. However, we still don't have a definite answer to the fairy circle mystery. It remains hard to pin down, waiting for scientists to unravel its secrets. Number 11. Island Sea Monster As far back as 1964, a strange picture surfaced, taken by a French guy named Robert Sack. People were surprised. What on earth was in that picture? It looked like a big snake chilling at the bottom of the ocean near Queensland, Australia. Some thought it might be a huge tarp or something like that, but nobody could explain it. There was this strange pale spot on its tail, like a sore. Some people thought maybe a ship's big fan caused it, and that's why the creature was hiding in the shallow water. The creature had these strange eyes on its head, not at the front like most animals. Its eyes were light in color. It was mostly black with brown stripes, and its skin was smooth with no fins or spikes or teeth showing. Then, in February 1965, a guy named Ivan Sanderson got involved. He thought maybe it was a plastic bag used by the U.S. Navy for some strange tests, or a flat balloon played up in seaweed, or just a bunch of cloth tied together. But even with all these ideas, nobody knows for sure what's happening in that picture. It's still a shock. Number 10. 1911 Airship 
In the year 1911, a picture appeared that caused a big stir and got everyone talking. It shows this fancy airship floating over Huntington, West Virginia. But this airship looks too fancy for its time, and no one could find any information about it beyond this picture. So, let's break it down. This airship in the picture looks smooth and modern, with lots of propellers and enough room for a group of people. That's nothing like the old-fashioned airships and balloons folks were using back then. It showed up before anyone in the United States even started building airships like the Zeppelins. People have come up with all kinds of ideas to explain this mystery. Some think it was made by a super smart inventor way ahead of their time. Others say it's just a big joke or some early photo trick. But there's no proof that anyone messed with the photo, and we still don't know who took it or why. Even with all the guessing, this 1911 airship photo remains a puzzle in history. It's a mystery we haven't resolved yet, a peek into a riddle that keeps us guessing. It's a crazy side story in the tale of how humans learn to fly. Number 9. Solway Firth Spaceman On a lovely summer day in 1964, a firefighter took a photo of his daughter that became famous worldwide. They were just on a regular outing and picked a spot to take a picture of his daughter in her new dress. After snapping the photo, the father noticed something strange in the background. A person in a white suit, wearing a helmet, standing behind his daughter. He only realized this when the person who developed the photo pointed it out. Concerned, he took the photo to the police, but they said it was nothing unusual. Even Kodak, the film company, said the same and offered a reward to anyone who could prove it was fake. Despite this, the story sparked a media panic. Some said it was a ghost, while others believed the father or daughter might have hidden powers. Then, two mysterious men in black showed up, asking to visit the spot where the photo was taken. All of this was very distressing for the father. In the 1950s and 1960s, there were only a few blurry pictures of strange events, making this one of the most remarkable and puzzling photos of its kind. It will continue to be discussed and debated for many years to come. Number 8. Backseat Ghost In 1959, Mrs. Mabel Chinnery went to a British churchyard to visit her mother's grave. While she was there, she took a picture of her husband waiting alone in the car. When the photo was developed, Mrs. Chinnery was surprised to see her mother's figure in the back seat. It was the same woman whose grave they had visited earlier that day. A photo expert examined the picture for a British newspaper and confirmed that it was genuine. It seems like mom wanted to ensure they didn't leave the cemetery without her. Lunch Atop is a famous black and white photograph captured on September 20, 1932. It shows 11 iron workers sitting on a steel beam, a staggering 850 feet above the ground while they were building the RCA building in Manhattan, New York City. These fearless men were used to walking along the steel girders without fear. Although some people mistakenly credit Lewis Hind as the photographer, the true identity of the person who took the photo remains uncertain. Evidence points towards Charles C. Ebitz as a potential photographer, but it was later revealed that several other photographers were also present at the scene. Many speculations have been made about the identities of the men in the picture, but only a few have been definitively confirmed. Number 7. Spectre of Newby Church In 1963, Reverend Kenneth F. Lord took a picture at the Church of Christ the Comforter, located at Newby H., what he took a picture of is now known as the Ghost of Newby Church. Many people think the person in the picture looks like a monk from the 16th century, wearing a white covering over their face. However, some think it might just be someone in a costume. The picture Reverend Lord took adds to the mystery of the church. The person in it looks kind of strange and ghost-like, covered in a ghost sheet. People still argue about it, which makes it interesting for visitors and researchers. If you look into the history of Newby H and the area around it, you'll find lots of stories. People have been telling stories about it for ages, like about old ceremonies, hidden treasures, and ghosts. The Church of Christ the Comforter is a central part of all these stories, attracting people who love supernatural mysteries from all over. Is the person in the picture a ghost from the past coming back for something they forgot to do? Or is it just someone trying to scare others? 
nobody has been able to explain what it was. Number 6. Cell Phone in World War II During World War II, something surprising happened involving a cell phone that was taken in a photo. The first ever mobile phone, made by Motorola, came out in 1973, exactly 30 years after the photo was taken. Some folks thought the man was just scratching his ear. Others guessed he might be holding his pipe or checking his watch to see if it was ticking right. This last idea gets a boost because the man is standing close to a watch shop. The cell phones in World War II were not the same as the ones we use today. They were big devices, unlike the smooth gadgets we carry in our pockets now. They were mostly used by the military for communication during battles. Imagine carrying around a big, heavy phone while fighting in a war. What's fascinating about this is the timing. The photo was snapped in the 1940s, a time when cell phones were nothing but a strange idea in someone's imagination. Was he scratching an itch or simply checking the time? Each possibility offers a glimpse into the daily life of someone living in that era, and the fact that the photo was taken near a watch shop adds a curious detail to the mystery. Did the man often stop by that shop to adjust his watch? Or was it just a coincidence? We may never know for sure, but it's fun to imagine the stories behind the snapshot. Number 5. Native American with Wolf The first people who lived in what is now the United States and Canada were Native Americans. Sadly, a lot of their past is forgotten because some people like to change their stories. But there are still old pictures that show what happened. One of the earliest photos we have shows a Native American with a wolf. Despite what settlers said about wolves, Native Americans had a close and respectful bond with them. They also lived close to nature and knew how to stay healthy until they started eating Western food. These old black and white photos remind us of how things were before everything became industrialized and before capitalism became dominant. In comparison to the false stories told by settlers, Native Americans had a deeply respectful and friendly relationship with wolves throughout their history. They lived closely with nature and practiced sustainable living until the introduction of Western diets harmed their health. These old photos are powerful reminders of a time before industrialization and the rise of capitalism. Number 4. Mysterious Blaze In St. Petersburg, Florida, Something strange happened one summer morning in 1951. This interesting story is about Mary Reeser, an old lady who lived there. It's July 2nd, and Mary's landlady came knocking on her door with a telegram. As Mary opens the door, she feels something strange. The doorknob is warm. She pushes the door further and is met with an unusual sight. Instead of finding Mary, there's a scene straight out of a mystery book. Mary has turned into a pile of ashes, sitting upon the remains of her burnt chair. All that's left are a small skull and a piece of leg. The fire that burnt Mary left everything else in her apartment untouched. But where did the fire come from? That remained a mystery. Was it just a strange accident? Or is there some scientific explanation behind it? The investigation into Mary's death was thorough. Experts examined the scene, looking for any clues that could explain what had happened. They tested the air quality, analyzed the remains of the chair, and even studied the temperature of the fire. But no matter how hard they looked, they couldn't find a satisfactory explanation. To this day, the case of Mary Reeser's sudden burning remains one of the most puzzling mysteries in the records of forensic science. Number 3. Mysteries of the Jungle The story of Michael Rockefeller, an adventurous person from the famous Rockefeller family, is full of mystery. It happened in the early 1960s when he decided to explore the mysterious wilderness of Papua New Guinea. Imagine him, a member of one of America's most well-known families, full of energy and a strong desire to learn, starting a journey that would always connect his name with mystery. Michael's trip to the center of Papua New Guinea was not a normal adventure. It was a brave journey, marked by both privilege and boldness. Born into the family of a famous New York governor, Michael seemed destined for greatness, maybe even a high position in the U.S. government. However, 
Fate had different plans, darker and scarier than he could have thought. Legend says that Michael met the feared Azmat people, a tribe famous for their scary reputation as cannibals. The rumors of the jungle suggested his sad meeting with this mysterious tribe, whose traditions were as unusual as they were scary. Stories of beheadings and eating human flesh spread, making the beautiful landscapes of Papua New Guinea seem scary. Was it the mystery of the unknown that attracted Michael to the Azmat, or was it just an unlucky mistake? Even the wisest people still cannot explain. Number 2. Frozen in Time in the olden days, going on journeys was like dancing with destiny itself, a mix of bravery and uncertain danger. Let's talk about John Hartnell and his unlucky crew from the famous Franklin Expedition of 1845. It was an Arctic adventure that turned into a sad story of tragedy and ice. With big dreams, 134 people set off on this risky journey. They were excited about finding a new, faster way to travel through the Arctic, called the Northwest Passage. They thought this shortcut would make them very rich and change how British trading worked. In the 1980s, a time when science adventures were popular, an anthropologist, someone who studies humans, found something interesting on a lonely Canadian Arctic island. Bodies that had been hidden for a long time by the cold were uncovered. They looked like ghosts from the past frozen in time. One of those bodies was John Hartnell's. His face forever showed a sad expression. The story of the Franklin expedition had been quiet for many years, but now it was being talked about again. It brings to everyone's mind the sacrifices and strength people need to explore unknown places. It's a warning that even the most exciting adventures can turn into scary stories. Number 1. The Bigfoot, West Virginia. A place where mystery and reality mix like the roots of old trees. Here, in this big area of wild beauty, the exciting search for the mysterious Bigfoot has reached a high point, capturing hearts and minds alike. A lone person, covered in the darkness of evening, comes across a scene straight from stories, a sight that sends chills down the back and sets the imagination on fire. An encounter with a puzzling monkey-like creature, a creature that has fueled speculation for years. Is it just a trick of the light, a quick shadow in the wilderness? Or could it be something more? Could it be the elusive Bigfoot itself, appearing from the depths of legend to excite our senses? The excitement surrounding this interesting sighting has sparked speculation, casting a captivating light over the landscape. Should we consider the idea that this captivating creature, long thought of as just a story, could be more than just something imagined? Get ready because the uncertainty that has covered this West Virginia wilderness for so long may finally be going away. Will the truth about Bigfoot be revealed, pushing aside the doubts and uncovering the secrets hidden within? Which of these 20 photos do you consider interesting? Let us know your answer in the comments section below.